On the fan this week, I have waited my entire life to do this segment with Brian Seeney, the at NRL physio on Twitter. Brian, thank you. Thank it's you. to do with cramps. Correct. Because I have had this belief for a long time that players fake cramps. A lot of players fake cramps. First of all, what is a cramp? It is an involuntary contraction of a muscle. So your muscle tenses up and it just doesn't relax. Okay, what, what's the chief cause of a cramp? Yeah, so look, it's changed over the last 10, 20 years and even till just recently. We always thought that the major contributor was dehydration and, and lack of salt content mm. and that's why you saw players, lots of fluids, Gatorade, taking salt tablets. But that's kind of changed now. We, we recognise that fatigue, both in the nerves and the muscles, seems to be the the continuous factor and those things like dehydration, lack of salt content still do contribute, but fatigue is the big one that causes it. All right, well in more recent times we've even seen pickle juice make an appearance on the sideline, go and, you know, scull a pickle, pickle juice, so to speak. Does that help? And how does that work? Yeah, so it, it can absolutely help. But as I said, we used to think that that pickle juice was replacing the lost salt and fluids through the players sweating and stuff like that. But because we now know that there is that nerve and muscle involvement, we, it's quite fascinating actually. So there is a nerve centre at the back of your throat, um, which has a channel through to the spine. Now, the acidity of that pickle juice, when it hits that nerve centre at the back of the throat, that has a connection or a channel through to what? the spine, that when that acidic pickle juice hits that nerve centre, it sends a message through to almost shut off those nerves that are causing the uh, the cramp. And it happens quite instantaneously, which is quite amazing. Actually, the point about dehydration, interesting one, because if it really was dehydration, well, wouldn't all the muscles cramp? Why would, like on Tony, why would it only be in his calf or in Absolutely. his hamstring? Why would it be? Both hamstrings, both calves, that's it was just exactly, dehydration. Exactly right. So that's why we think it's more fatigue, because the, the muscles that cramp most commonly in the NRL are the hamstring and the calf. They are two muscles that NRL players use throughout the entire game. Yet, the most common cramp, this is my theory, seems to happen with five minutes to go on the clock mm. and the sides in front. Cue Kenny Edwards. Now, I've been on the back of Kenny, Mr Cramp, for a long time. Has any medical studies been done to back up Kenny's case that, no, it is more prevalent that you're going to suffer a cramp when you're leading into the last five minutes. Mate, yes or no? I put the challenge to you. I want a PhD done, a boss. Get it, get it to me. Thanks for your help. <laughs> At NRL Physio on Twitter.